the current La Nina episode is peaking, bringing cool wet weather to the northwest and record dry conditions to the southeast. A La Nina occurs when the sea surface temperatures along the equator in the Pacific Ocean drop. And this small change in water temperature can affect everything from the weather to the fishing industry all across the globe. The cooler water temperatures of a La Nina form when easterly sea surface winds increase in strength. Under normal conditions, these winds force cooler water from below up to the surface of the ocean. But when these winds increase, more cold water is forced up, cooling the ocean surface even further and triggering a La Nina. Now the water temperature has dropped about two to three degrees Fahrenheit. Now that doesn't sound like a whole lot, but you've got to remember a water holds a lot of heat. There's as much heat in the upper six feet of the ocean as there is in the entire atmosphere. And so even though you cool the water, what sounds like a little bit, it has huge effects on the atmosphere because it's cooling the atmosphere a lot. La Nina's cooler waters slow cloud growth overhead, causing changes to rainfall patterns from South America to Indonesia. These changes in rainfall, in turn, affect the strength and location of the jet stream, the strong winds that guide weather patterns over the U.S. Any change to the jet stream will have an impact on the weather across the country. Uh, specifically and historically what has happened with La Niña's in the U.S. is that uh, the southeast is by far the strongest connection. It tends to be dry and a little bit warmer than normal in the southeast. Over the northwest, it's hard to imagine winters being any wetter than they are, but in the northwest Pacific, it gets wetter than normal. And the plains, they get a real winter. It tends to be very, very cold during La Niña's. The cold waters stirred up during a La Niña also spur the growth of microscopic ocean plants called phytoplankton. These plants feed organisms at the bottom of the food chain, starting a reaction that increases life in the ocean during this period. Although this La Nina is only expected to last through the spring, NASA will be monitoring the event with several of its key Earth-observing satellites. Satellites such as Aqua, Terra, and Jason look at some of the major indicators of a La Nina sea surface temperature, and height. Other satellites, such as TRIM and QuickScat, observe changes in rainfall and ocean surface winds, all of which add to a fuller understanding of La Nina. The current La Nina episode has many far-reaching effects. What some may see as just a small change in sea surface temperature has a much greater impact both here in the U.S. and across the globe.